you what attracted you to write the foreword of uh, of my book, Strange Flowers, and why do you think this book is important? Uh, such a great question, and I have a great answer because I was introduced to you by a mutual friend and our late colleague Tom Lovejoy, mm -hmm. uh, one of my heroes. I uh, passed away a year ago, last late last December. And he, uh, I'd known him for decades, actually. He'd been so important to my life, to my thinking, his books, his teaching, inspiration. And it was kind of a note, if he introduced me to you, I was going to talk to you for sure. So it was, that's, that's the power of a great introduction. And once I got to know you through your books and your writing, I, I didn't need him anymore to <laughs> encourage me to talk to you. But specifically about uh, strange flowers, um, my life is dealing with strange flowers. And so I thought a book about strange flowers that was kind of geared to the younger audience, to children, hey, that's that's like a no brainer. Get get kids interested in flowers and what they do, and what they look like and how they can be strange and cool looking mm -hmm. early. And, and it goes on from there. Then they'll be encouraged to find these plants in nature and uh, learn to understand them and to love them. That, this this answer makes me so happy. L let me tell you, and and I mentioned in the other day that uh, I had the opportunity to become friends with uh, with Tom Lovejoy. We became friends while sailing in Patagonia, and on a on a broadcast that I did in Spanish the other day. What I love about him is the fact he understood I didn't have the academic background, and he always lend me a hand since the day we met uh, and it was it was fantastic he understood my my vision and my what i was attempting to do in the educational world so uh, he was key in everything that i have produced so i'm, I'm very happy to hear what you just said 